markets are up. Oriflam, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Enough for today, branded. Still work to be done. You and me. Shift your asses. <sighs> you branded here now. You're late. What kept you? Late for what? They tell you nothing. A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a chain. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. The wolf! It's going to eat me! What if I can help it? Stay back. I'll deal with this. Stay down! supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this, before it happens again. Son, you slaughter his poor pet 
and then have the gall to return. Head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, Father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulder. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? More victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The Dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another, still. Such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Father! Father! Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. 
You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. Chloe, I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but... She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. And she likes walking in the wheat. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case... Let's not keep her waiting. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. Up! The lot of you! There's still work to be done. these fields hmm a branded and an outsider at that judging by why should i help you eh you tell me that because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet chloe is it oh little lisette's clay last i saw the filthy creature was sniffing about the wind that girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing the windmill off with you now i won't have idol branded underfoot Interruption. The Crystal's Curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home, Chloe. Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The Crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, 
She would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said... Bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... People of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says. It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. You like that, don't you? Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. He had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a new... But although it was an antique... <laughs> Oh, certainly was not, as I told him. And nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster... He... And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean. You are fortunate to have fallen into the dame's good graces. It smells of death here, Torgor. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village.
A man and a woman. Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? No, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day, he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. If only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to desert. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. If it was a message that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, Milady. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but... You needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? My dear Tatia, it is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home, but rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatian. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Vale counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. <laughs>